It's like three times on hold camera. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. You better hit record. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get video? And you got a video. Goddamn, I'm finna smoke oh. another cigarette. <laughs> yeah, right. You want? Like Are you ready? Uh, yeah. All right, check this out. Uh, I was about 20 years old, 21. My big brother from the neighborhood, he ain't my real big brother, but he's like my neighborhood big brother, you know what I'm saying? He tore some ligaments in his leg, and I drove him to the doctor. Now, keep in mind, I can't drive a stick, so I drove his little fucking escort with a stick. <laughs> all the way to the hospital. He pulled his muscles in his leg. He gets these pills called Oxycontin. And he goes, bruh, so fucked up, you need to take one of these. And I'm like, literally like 20 years old, 21. Literally smaller than I am now, maybe 120 pounds. He gives me an 80. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hell no, I didn't know nothing about sports. Never snorted in my life. Just for the record, never snorted powder. Never times ate ecstasy without it. Never snorted. Still ball, right? <laughs> so I took that fucking pill. Twelve hours later, I was in CK's Coffee Shop, which is like a little breakfast restaurant in Memphis. It's open 24 hours. It was like five in the morning. I literally told the. I'm literally like, no, I can't. Like doing this. <laughs> and I told the cook, I told the cook, I said, Look, don't cook my order. I'm about to die. <laughs> and I literally went to the bathroom and puked my soul up. And after that night, I swore on my child and my family and my friends that I'd never take another argument again. The next day, I went to the studio, told Juicy J the whole story, and he said, Make a song about it. <laughs> <laughs> and I made a song about it. And 30 million views on YouTube later, I've only still to this day took him one Oxycontin. Really? I'll help you out. That's not awesome. That's not awesome, because I had people almost ready to jump me when they found out I only took one Oxycontin. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, I'm on three right now. You right don't take them no more. I'm like, dude, stop. They're it killing America. Look, real talk, real talk. Yeah, but it only takes one. Real talk. It That's for goddamn. Oxycontin, Oxycontin. Yeah. I got your flat bag like yeah. Cadillac. Okay. And just because yeah. I promote it, hey, don't mean I promote it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mirror, does anybody watch this fucking video? Stop taking Oxycontin. Hey, man. You got to anyway because they quit making the motherfuckers anyway. Don't, don't go to OP. Look, I'm not trying to give a public service announcement. I do still get fucked up, alright? I drink daily, I smoke daily, and occasionally I'll pop a little something, but it's not an Oxycontin. Because that motherfucker literally almost killed me. And I got to thank the person who created the handicap rails in the bathroom. Because without him, I probably would have busted my face on the toilet when I went to puke them bitches up. Fuck yeah! So, hey, me and brother. Little White. Mr. Oxycontin just said, stop taking Oxycontin, man. Irresponsibly. Shit is gonna kill you. Uh, I've lost too many, I've, lo I've literally lost like five homies to Oxycontin. Oh, for real? I've actually did autograph signings where a woman came and said, my son OD'd to your music. Yeah, they're like, no, he didn't. He OD'd on the drugs I was rapping about. You can't overdose on my music. But, you eventually what I am saying is, I can't, stop taking off. No, no, no. Go get a Xanax or a lower tab. Oh, that's it, we're doing it? You know, okay, that did it. not nothing like Whatever you want to do, baby. The shit almost killed me. That's the whole reason why the song existed. What? The whole reason why the song existed. Because I almost died from it. 36 yeah. Mafia told me to make a song about it. So, with that being said, Hell yeah, 36 Mafia! ACP! <laughs> what he said. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Grand deal, we got but now, real talk, that's the true story. Like, I literally took one. Didn't know it was going to blow up like it did. But it did. I really didn't expect the song to get that big. Like, it was just a song. So, real talk. If there's anybody out there suffering from Oxycontin use today, go get help right now. Because you ain't got much longer to live. It's going to kill you. It's going to kill you. As a matter of fact, the, the U.S. Attorney, the U.S. Attorney in the White House, who's in the White House now, said, 
Okay. At a conference. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. type in Oxycontin wrong, you'll pop up the little white video. That's the U.S. attorney. So apparently, I struck a few nerves. Hell yeah, you did. But what I am saying is, smoke your weed, drink your liquor, pop your pills, but. And everybody down in South Florida that's dying like every day because your doctor is giving you 200 when you're only supposed to get 20. Right? Look, man. Move out of Florida. Let me move in. That's real talk. That's real talk. I'm not like giving a public service announcement here, but I am saying that I've lost a lot of homeless people. I don't regret writing a song because without that song, I might not even be in Rogers, Arkansas right now. It's real talk. This is real talk. We love you, dude. That was a kind of song. And I love you too, man. And I want you to stick around. Is what I'm saying. I'm here for. I need you to buy my next album, not die tonight. <laughs>